Good evening, guys. Tuesday, March 15th, 10.20 p.m. Eastern New York time. Um, tomorrow morning, we have some British Pound news. Um, 5.30 a.m. Eastern. <clears throat> Average earnings, claimant count, unemployment rate. So, just going to concentrate on those for tonight. So, I'm just going to look at the pound pairs, or some of them anyways. And uh, my gut on most of these is that we will see uh, a, rally, a corrective rally in these pairs. Uh, so I say a corrective rally because they're all in downtrends. Uh, I expect, based on the Elliott patterns, what I'm seeing, that we'll see some kind of a rally up on that news. However, it <clears throat> should be short-lived, though, so... Um, if I take any longs, um, I'm not going to be looking to hold it very long. <clears throat> but uh, so if we look at uh, pound yen, um, this is absolutely looks like a wave four in progress. We had a one, two, a long three here. This was incredible if you caught this. <clears throat> and now we have this right here, which is obviously very corrective and looks like a textbook wave four after a long wave three. And you have CCI going up like this, spread apart. Um, it's very ind indicative of a wave four move. And I'm thinking that would probably, um, in probably a wave, the wave C now, which is going to take us up a little further. This could possibly be, you know, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go up a little bit. So I put the wave five to start here, but that's just to get it out of the way. I don't. I haven't really decided where exactly this is going to end, but so that's pound yen, thinking that this is going to go up, and then this correction will end, and we'll keep going down. <clears throat> so I'm thinking this news tomorrow morning for the pound might be positive, although maybe not super positive enough to just to drive it up on a correction, and then uh, eventually it'll come back down. So that's pound Canadian, um, pound. Uh, excuse me, that was pound yen, pound Canadian. Again, looks very similar. It looks like we have a one, two, three. This looks like to be a wave four. Uh, just a very complex correction. Um, yeah, it does look like that it's been holding this trend line. Um, and so I would expect uh, in this correction that we go up one more time. And again, similar to the pound yen, it'll go up one more time on the news and then probably back down. So um, so I, I, again, I'd be looking for that. This one, uh, could potentially go up a little bit further. It looks like it's kind of at a low right now. And if this trend line holds, then, you know, we could see, um, you know, you could see a move of a couple hundred pips anyways, uh, to at least back up to these recent highs here. Um, so that's, this is a four hour chart. So going down. This definitely looks corrective, this whole thing. This looks like an ABC down. Um, and so I am expecting it to go back up. This is back on the one-hour chart. Um, you could even look at this if you want it as a one, wave one, and then this is a wave two, an ABC for wave two. And then we're going to go back up. So, again, same thing, pound Canadian. I'm expecting an up move uh, in a, in a correct as a correction to a downtrend. So, uh, pound Aussie. Uh, again, kind of same situation. Uh, this looks to be, again, uh, you know, on the longer term time frame, we certainly have a downtrend here. This looks to be, again, potentially a wave four. Looks like maybe a triangle forming here, although not a very neat one. Um, but if this is a correction to a downtrend, then this is probably wave D of the triangle. It means it's got to go back up for wave E, and then it'll come back down. So uh, it would be... Something like this, uh, where it would bounce back up, and then we'd proceed down out of the triangle with this area right here being your target measurement out of this um, out of this triangle, um, which would probably take it to about here. So again, um, this one may not have quite so much potential, but. Um, if this is a wave E that's got to form back to the top of the triangle, it's about 100 pips, and I would take it down for about another 130 or so. So, you know, there is some potential there, but again, uh, 
looking at this to be a bounce up, short lived bounce, and then down. Um, pound Swiss, same thing. Um, one, two, three, looks like out of this corrective channel, we broke out wave one, wave two, wave three. We're now in probably in wave four, very early stages though, of wave four. I think this has to go up quite a bit here, but it is suggestive of a correction. So I am expecting this to go up. This one could be a little bit more lucrative in pound Swiss if that is what happens, because I think it's got a lot more upside potential um, um, before it comes back down again. So uh, on second thought, no, probably doesn't have a lot. Um, if we take it off this low, if this is way four, it really can't go much further than, than here. So... Uh, this might only be a 50 pip move, but again, I'm expecting this to go up and then back down. So it might not be worth it. Maybe you wait for the correction to end and then take wave five down. So so that's pound Swiss. Pound dollar is not so clear. This is definitely correction, but this one doesn't really do anything for me. So I'm probably not going to trade the pound dollar. There's some dollar news tomorrow uh, later on, and so that may have something to do with it. So, so I'm not going to bother. Um, and I didn't look at pound Kiwi. I'm not going to on this video. So, so anyway, so that's what I'm looking at um, for tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how it plays out. Um, again, don't take any trades based off anything I say. Please do your own research. And um, it's just for informational. And, uh, you know, but I'll be looking forward to uh, checking out this news and, um, and uh, seeing how it works out. All right.